what's up everybody it's your boy kid back at it again we got a comic relief special today um strap into your seats go get your snacks kick back and relax uh hopefully it'll work on the channel uh you know as this video was on youtube but again never know so um keep an eye out for what happens on uh, on this reaction so with that being said snacks is not included if you enjoy the content that you're watching consider hitting that like comment subscribe turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a beat for the next reaction and let's get it snacks not included let's get it Jose special. And finally, I got a letter from Rainbow Pictures asking whether or not they can make a film here. Well, that does sound very interesting. I have, of course, said no. Oh. Is there anyone famous in it? Well, let's see. According to this letter, somebody called Johnny Depp. <laughs> In our village? Johnny, please use your scissor hands to snip my pants off immediately, Dad. <laughs> and you have said no to him. I swore that Sense and Sensibility would be the last time that we had a film crew here. Oh. That Emma Thompson. She's a goer. <laughs> this has nothing to do with whether or not Emma Thompson mm -hmm. goes, whatever that means. It means she goes. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Wherever you want her to. <laughs> oh, right on. That's nice, isn't it? What is? Well, a, a lot of people, when they give you a lift, they just go wherever they're going. But Emma Thompson, apparently, goes wherever you want. <laughs> well, that wasn't quite <laughs> what I had in mind. Shut us up, all of you. <clears throat> As for Kate Winslet. <clears throat> what? What? <laughs> Lovely table manners. <laughs> <laughs> if. I may finish. A little village like ours does not have the electrical capacity to support a film crew. The lights fused every night while Sense and Sensibility were here. Oh, come on, Dad, don't exaggerate. Every second night, then. How long were they here? Two nights. Oh. <laughs> well, I suggest we have a vote on it. Very well. Do we want our lovely little village totally disrupted by hundreds of cars and vans? and actors with egos the size of the Millennium Dome. Mm, and with bottoms like peaches in cling film. <laughs> All those in favour. <laughs> Let's go. Be it on your own heads. Mm, yes, please. <laughs> she wants the debt. Right, dear Johnny. Hello, I'm your local vicar, Geraldine, or woman. 38, 88, 68. Yes, things do happen. And I'll be very happy to help if you're ever in need of spiritual counselling or anything else, like sugar, milk, or... No, that's pushing it. Why don't you drop round tonight to meet me and some of the other villagers who are all lovely and interesting people? Uh-oh! No, I must not tell lies about the villagers. Guess which hand the chocolate's in. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. Well, it's always in that one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's mighty tempting, but no thanks. Oh. What are you doing? Um, I'm writing a letter to Johnny Depp, you know, as one does. <laughs> Can write another one in a minute to Brad Pitt. <laughs> just saying, for goodness sake, Brad, will you stop calling me? Can't you just accept it was a one-night stand? <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> I'll be very happy to help if you're ever in need of spiritual counselling or anything else, sugar or milk or casual sex. No, no, I've lost that out. I've lost that out, you see, the casual sex, sex bit. Oh. She didn't mean to. Oh, I think this is it. Yeah, I think this is the one here. Nice song. Right. <clears throat> so I suppose I just, um, go and knock on the door. Yeah. You come and knock <clears throat> on my door. <clears throat> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Gather myself for a moment there. He's so excited. I mean, that's Johnny Depp in there. In that bit of tin. That is Johnny Depp in there. What about him? He's got a bird in there or something. Why would he have a bird in there? Well, you know. Feeding it nuts? No, the other sort of bird, Alice. Non-nuts-eating birds. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Just come and 
do it. Vultures, I suppose. <laughs> Ocelots. Oh, shush now, shush, 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 shush. She's still digging birds. Geraldine, I'm, um, I'm Vicar. Hi, hi. Hello. And, um, and I'm a woman with women's needs. <laughs> um, I've just dropped by to give you this invitation to come to, uh, drinks at the Nickeridge. At, at the, um, <laughs> at, the at the, at the Vicarage tonight. Oh, That's very nice of you. Thank you. If you would like to come, it'd be absolutely heavenly. Yeah, it'd be, it'd, be, uh, it'd be good to meet some of the local people. Listen, do you think um, it would be all right if I brought a few friends with me? Because we were going to go and have a party anyway. So maybe we could just bump some booze off you. Yeah, why not? I mean, cool. anything, you know, to do with bums and, and you and me and bums. It, it, that's fine. Yeah. Great. Great. Okay. Well, thanks very much, honey, and uh, <coughs> we'll see you uh, later. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Great to you. And you. Yeah. Bye bye. That wasn't awkward. Especially nice meeting you. Thanks. Um, okay. See you. Yeah. Yeah. Gangsta. <laughs> Fangirling. <laughs> <laughs> what outfit is this? Could you lay out the crisps for me? <laughs> Okey-dokey, boss woman. This looks different. Not complaining. <laughs> lay out the crisps. Uh, coming. This is like musical oh, chairs with crisps. Dear, all those wasted years Johnny spent with Kate Moss when he could have had his arms around this. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Why if I make just a tiny little adjustment to it? Yeah. Um, where's the... Here. There, just slip your arms out the sleeves, right? <laughs> just a little new idea. Twist the middle round. That's it, all the way, that's it. And then put your arms back in there. Do you see? Oh. It's a whole new way of wearing it, isn't it? Oh. There we are, that's, uh... <laughs> well, that's better. <laughs> yeah. Um, you don't think that we're overdoing it? I mean, after all, it's just a casual drinks. No! Johnny spends his whole life being surrounded by exotic birds. Yeah, like parrots and peacocks and Big Bird from Sesame Street. Yeah, shut up a lot now, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. That's him. Breasts don't fail me now. <laughs> yes. Evening, Vicar. Oh, hi, lads. Come on in. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, the boys clothes. are here. <laughs> Where's David? Uh, he said he'd rather have a bull terrier clamped to his privates while watching repeats of Kilroy. That's all do. Party pooper, uh, David. <clears throat> I heard Johnny was bringing some friends. Yeah, well, don't get too excited. It's probably just a producer, people in the crew, that sort of thing. Oh, I thought they might be someone famous. They're like Maureen from the driving school. <laughs> yeah, look that up. She's a stunner. Uh, yes, I wouldn't mind parking in her garage. <laughs> <laughs> That's him! That's him, right, everybody? Try to look cool. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Come on. Oh! oh. oh. Oh, Who touched my butt? Coming! Huh. Um, uh, is that you, Johnny? Yeah, uh, and here are my friends. Geraldine, this is Sean. Oh. Hello, my dear. I'm sure you look gorgeous. <laughs> Think Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman after a very big meal, and you're pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Mick, and this is Michael. Hey, 
hello, how's it going? OK. It's all dark in here. It's quite scary, isn't it? <laughs> Interesting. Hello, darling. Charmed, I'm sure. I also brought a couple of, uh, what do you call them over here? Birds? Is that all right? Exotic, or just sparrows and budgies and things like that. <laughs> this is Madonna. Oh, Madonna? God. Hi there, Rick. How's it hanging? Oh, very well, thank you. Um, and the Duchess of York was just dropping by. Oh, oh, well, uh, hi, redhead. Hello, Ricka. Uh, wait a minute. Sorry, what's this thing? I can feel something short and prickly. Is it a present, a, a cactus or something? No, no, no. I, I'm Robin Cook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, somewhere in here are my villages. Um, guys, why don't you just introduce yourselves? Hello, everyone. Um, Madonna, yeah. can I just say I'm a great fan of your work, particularly the early stuff when you were nice and fat. <laughs> <laughs> Please ignore him. One Are of his sure? parents had four legs, you see. Um, get ready to rock, everyone. The party mm. starts here. Oh, and smooth. Ah, damn. Oh, what did I get up to last night? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Hickey. Oh, that was Robin Cook. Completely missed my mouth. Kisses like a blowing vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Vicar. Uh, I hear you had quite a night. Oh, boy, you can say that again. Michael Caine, right? brought this mango. <laughs> Apparently, though, apart from Johnny, mm. you didn't actually see any of your guests. Well, no, but they were definitely there. Or were they? I suspect you've had the wool pulled over your eyes. I think he probably brought along a couple of rather good impressionists. No, he did not. I mean, look. What's that? This is Madonna's bra. <laughs> it is not Madonna's bra. It's yours. It isn't. Look, I'm still wearing mine. I think you've probably got more than one bra. No, I haven't. For me, bras are like men. You know, you meet one you love and you stick with it for life. <laughs> I met this particular love match in British home stores and, well, I'll take him to my grave with me. Him? I didn't know bras were masculine. Well, of course they are. You wouldn't want something female cupping your breasts from dawn till dusk, would you? <laughs> Well, I suppose you might. You're a tennis player. No, the point <laughs> is that we had a huge, successful celebrity party in this room last night, and this is Madonna's bra, <laughs> and, doubting David, this, mm. Mm. right, this, this, mm. this, Fergie's tiara. Thank you. <laughs> Fergie. Oh, you'll have what? to pull the other one, and pull it very hard. <sighs> Clearly, Mr Depp, decided to make a fool out of all of you, brought along Rory Bremner and Mike Yarwood, and you fell for it hook, line, and sinker. You are a sad, gullible creature, mm, Vicar, yeah. and you have been had. Would you excuse me just one moment? Mm -hmm. Always doubtful, this guy. Oh, I forgot the tiara. Oh, Ginge, come on in. Go speak through, I'll find it for you. This is, uh, David. Hello. How do you do, David? I do. <laughs> I do do. <laughs> Very well. Thank you. Here it is. The Duchess. Uh, oh, Madonna said she left her bra. She did, yes. <laughs> Voila. So she can't live without him. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you, handsome. Yes, to meet you. Nice. Duchess. Yeah. Vic, will I see you at Sean's on Saturday? You bet. I wouldn't miss it. Ciao. Ciao. See you there. Take that, David. You prick. <sighs> oh, ye of tiny, tiny faith. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, David, eat your heart out. Give me one second. We got to go full screen. Thank you for watching all that good stuff there. So, we just wrapped up seeing Johnny freaking Depp in The Vicar of Dibley. And what a treat right there. I guess you could say that, um, you know, The Vicar, 
she's got a little good luck she got a little bit of good luck right there how crazy it is for uh you know johnny Depp to be on this thing uh now it's not so far-fetched man it's not so far-fetched uh we love johnny depp the actor phenomenal dude right there uh a lot of great uh you know films that he's been on one of my favorites is definitely edward scissorhand so um uh, the vicar's line about you know using the you know the fingers to rip off that was such a good clean cool freaking line and and that's one of the things that we like about geraldine uh you know we know she's been experienced many beautiful things so i just love that she just you know she's very forward in 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 her thinking uh to to say these things so this was absolutely great i i, I this felt like a full-fledged uh episode right here and um this could be easily one of the best comic relief ones that we have seen, uh, especially for Red Nose Day. Now, I believe that we have seen um, one with Mr. Bean uh, in a police station. I believe that was also a comic relief. I could be wrong right now, but either way, um, that was another one that we really enjoyed. And um, Alice lover can't can't say that en enough times bless her you know for her thinking birds uh you know she's like vultures we got vultures here you know she's probably thinking parrots parakeets whatever she's she's thinking about birds now uh had this been maybe like five years ago i would have been thinking the same thing as alice would have been but yes we know what birds are uh so you know so it was actually so kind of it was really cool i ain't gonna lie when it was dark and you're hearing things and, and and especially in parties people are grabbing places people are just grabbing places somebody's always grabbing my butt in parties like that with the lights is off shit is going down i don't know what's going on guys but uh very cool obviously you're hearing johnny that uh i have never ever 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 seen david speechless uh you know, he's bowing, you know, doing his curtsy or whatever, uh, bowing, um, and he's like, doo-doo, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, the fact that he is finally kind of speechless, he's always been that guy that isn't optimistic, always doubtful, in many instances, always negative, uh, you know, especially on the show, and, uh, for once, you know, he still doesn't see it, man. Geraldine just has a wonderful way. Even when he thought the idea with remember the animals episode, guys, and he was like, you know, like in many ways, like this is a dumb idea and all that stuff. But Geraldine has a way of just um, being magic. You know, it's like it's like magic. She just has a wonderful way of. Um, getting you know these kind of blessings happen on the show on the episodes that we see and um Geraldine uh, another wonderful you know uh actress you know she's just so good so freaking good Dawn French phenomenal so I have to say that from watching this series and it's brought me a lot of a lot of joy Re really 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 a lot of joy uh you know Owen's I get, how, how would you describe Owen's loose tongue or very forward or holy shit? He, did he just say that? Like, man, Owen's and my boy, no, 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 uh, their mind and all the things that they're always constantly thinking about, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I love it. I love to see it. I love to see it. So, you know, there's a lot of special characters here. I love the get ups that they when they came into the door and you're expecting Johnny Dead at the moment, but it's 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 the three amigos. Uh they're coming in with their attire. I love it. I love to see it. And um again, you got David the party pooper. Uh, you know, he he rather what did he say? Like they they rather have a terrier on his balls or some shit, some some shit like that. Uh, I have to go back and hear it again, but uh, you know, basically, in so many ways, he'd rather not be here. And, and and look what could have happened had he been there. Duchess saying handsome, he's handsome. She, you know what I'm saying? So I feel that David is just so damn negative. So many times, man. If he just open up the doors, and, and again, I know sometimes people have barriers up. You've been through a lot of shit. 
and um you know maybe you don't trust people a lot and stuff like that i've been through that i've been through that stuff and sometimes you got to open up those doors open up the keys to your heart a little bit and i, I just kind of hope david loosens up a little bit and i, I was thinking as we've been watching these episodes a long time that he was going to lower that barrier a little bit i'm not i'm not feeling like he's quite there yet and i really hope that he is uh, he's definitely a wonderful character on this thing i love to see hugo shining alice with her interesting outfit i, I we, we knew something was up with that outfit we were not complaining though but uh gotta love her gotta love her so this gotta be one of my favorite comic relief that we have seen right now um i love these special episodes what's cool for me um i really don't see these comic reliefs like on, on on shows that i grew up in the states not that i can remember anything like that because I, I really don't watch a lot of our shows that much anymore um as i've, I've partaked in a beautiful journey here you know so that's my gift right now uh watching wonderful uk shows uh, that we can't praise enough that we've just had a freaking blast watching a lot of good times they give me a lot of emotions they're roller coasters uh rides you know sometimes i'm angry sometimes i'm sad uh, I, I, you know i want to cry sometimes but i ain't gonna do it on camera uh you know but um yeah, they, I, they really are special. So I just hope that you guys are enjoying. If I made one person smile, one person laugh, um, I'm completely happy with that. Uh, you know, that means the world to me. So like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Bless you all for watching. Hopefully you had a good time. If you enjoy the content, hit that like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a beat. And we'll see you next time. As always, peace and love. Peace.